What do you think, Pastor Paul? Are you serious? <laughs> what? <laughs> Whoa! <I'm sorry>. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> Get a cup of coffee. That's right. Say, uh, this is a Bible prophecy conference, and we're having our coffee here. That's right. That's right. Amen. And we're serious. Amen. We're very serious about Jesus. Amen. He's coming back. Amen. Amen. You heard that. Amen. They're Amen. serious. send it to me and I'll read it on my channel. And it started off slow, I think that's in April, so I had like maybe what, 30 subscribers, something like that. And uh, now I think I just crossed over 3,100, actually. It has been about a year, actually, you know. What's today's date, the 4th? Yeah, actually almost one year to today, actually. So, so what's really cool about that is um, you guys want to know about what's coming all right, what's coming to the United States now? And uh, a lot of the stuff that we've been talking about, uh, I see a lot of commonalities in dreams and visions. Okay, and uh, one quick note about what John was talking about. I want, you, I want to read you guys the email I received from a subscriber about the Bible code. And uh, it's really neat. This guy did a study of the Bible code about me. It says, Hi Bob, I just want to let you know, I found your prophetic ministry on YouTube Bible Codes. With your detail to, to the very day your YouTube channel was created. Using your name, Bob Barber, as the access term, I found the ELS words, Ministry. Wow. <laughs> with a small vertical skip parallel to your name. Another table with from Yeshua, then a vertical skip again, parallel directly under your name, ELS words, intercept my name, the access term, rapture, teacher, ministry, prophetic, dream, vision, YouTube, and it gives a date when I started. So it got confirmed on 
the Bible code, he confirmed my ministry of what I do now. That's really cool. It blew my mind. I, uh, really? I mean, how long we get this? <laughs> so, um, so with that being said, uh, so I get tons of dreams and visions. I think I just crossed over 700 videos I made now. Wow. And um, there's so many of them. I get hundreds. I probably got backlog in two months where the dreams and visions do. But what can I tell you guys that could be helpful to you guys about dreams and visions? Well, but, uh, we're, we're just talking about everything that's happening right now lines up what I'm receiving right now. Everything's lining up. Everybody here, I, I guarantee you, all had a dream. Yep. Uh, some prophetic dream, right? Yep. Yep. Pastor Paul, I've heard yours. I couldn't sleep for days after I heard that dream. <laughs> <laughs> so I will pass and, oh, awful. So, um, but well, what can I tell you is this. If I can break it down really easily is this. The United States is going to receive judgment. It's going to receive judgment. And what's going to happen is this. We're going to have earthquakes in the West. Tidal waves in the east, earthquakes in the Midwest, nuclear bombs in the, in the Midwest, nuclear attacks. And after that, they're going to dream show that, dream division show there's going to be a sweep. Whoever, whoever survives all this stuff, they're going to come through with this, uh, that mark system that they are just talking about, that they knew was talking about. Whoever survives this thing, they're going to find out how you're marked blue, green, whatever the colors are. And so basically they do. And look at this way too, the, the, the Georgia Guidestone says 22 million. Well, there's like 8 billion people on this planet right now. I think the United States house is about 400 million. Am I right? So how do you get 8 billion down to a, a manageable 22 million? Without, you can't do it without mass destruction. It won't happen. But I got good news for everybody here. Dreams and visions are also showing, too, that when those missiles come down, we're going up. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. 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 Time and time and time and time and time again. These dreams and visions are showing that massive people, I don't know how many times I've seen people get delivered from a tidal wave, get delivered from a nuclear weapon, get delivered from earthquakes, get delivered by people chasing them down, Military chasing them down. I am running, and I'm changing. People are changing, and they're ascending at the same time. All right? They're about to be overtaken by water, and they change into their mortal bodies, and they leave. And uh, once again, I don't have to, you guys just been watching it now for the last two hours, three hours. Everything's lining up. And uh, Leora, she wanted me to share some specific dreams and visions. And uh, the best ones I can tell you are my own. <laughs> so, so first of all, we'll start, with a, we'll start with a tribulation dream. This dream was just chilling to me. When I received this dream, I was standing in front of my house. And my house was in perfectly good condition. It's a fairly new home I built in 2001 after we got married. This house is in perfectly new condition. And all I saw was this house... No broken windows, no nothing, the house by itself. But all the grass was growing up all around it, like it's been abandoned. The sky was pink, wind was picking up, the sky was it's pink with a, kind of like a sun setting, ashy clouds. And I knew beyond a shadow of that, at that point, I knew that the second half of the tribulation was about to begin. I just knew it. And I was like, man, it was like, get me out of here. I know it's coming, get me out of here. The dream ended. The next dream I will share with you is, uh, is uh, Nephilim. Mm -hmm. And uh, actually, they're a lot of people think they're Nephilim, but actually Raphaim, because the Nephilim are, in Hebrew, means fallen ones, which is the fallen angels. And they're giants. The Bible says giants roam the land. Genesis 6 4. Well, so here we are in the midst of uh, the tribulation. I'm standing in the cul de sac, a nice cul de sac. And everybody's just kind of gathered, what's going on, what's going on, people are freaking out. And all of a sudden, this 35, 40 foot giant comes running into that neighborhood, starts taking people. Now, I don't watch, I'm not into Jack the Giant Slayer, I'm not into those movies, I don't care about giants, I didn't care about giants when I was a kid, they don't do nothing for me, don't care about them. But yet, I still had this dream. 
And my dream lines up with so many people's dreams. I put dreams out and all of a sudden what I love about my channel is when I, someone gives me a dream, I put it out there. It's not just so, you know, people talk about a dream, but it's like you have a dream, I put it out there, and you need help with that dream. Once I put it out there, yeah, I'll try to give an interpretation for you, or I'll talk about it at least. But now you can see everybody starting to comment on it. Oh, I had a dream about that. I had a dream about that. I had a dream about that. So everybody's, it's helping everybody now. And I started a Facebook page that's to categorize all of you. If you guys are on my Facebook page, any End Time Dream and Vision, you can see that too. I put them all in the categories, and it just pick, pick the category, whatever kind of dream you have, with Antichrist Dream, uh, Nephilim Dream, Rapture Dream. Go on my Facebook, you can put it in the comments section. So Nephilim Dream, Tribulation Dreams. I just had a recent dream where Obama steps, it has one foot on my mouth and no more on my neck. I, mean, I just had that one. I haven't done a video about that yet. And a dream about CERN. Showed three sixes in the sky turning. I just posted it if you look at my channel. All three sixes. I posted it last year. In August 9th of last year, I did the dream. I posted it. And I had to redo it because now I know what it meant. Because I didn't know what it meant. And I saw three sixes in the sky. The sixes started turning everywhere. And they're just turning in the sky. And then I realized well, if you take all the sixes, once they stop turning, you put them together, it forms the CERN logo. Mm -hmm. And it was a dark sky, no light, it was ashy, it was just demonic. And I was like, what does that mean? You know? So I had dreams like that, and uh, I can't you know, think a whole lot more off the top of my head, but I tell you this though, about the rock vein, that stuff's real. Yeah. Their demons coming. are real. They one one I'm gonna, it's going to get a little vulgar here, but if you guys don't mind, my own uh, experiences with demons. One in particular, uh, I was laying in my uh, laying in my bed. My my sons come into bed. They're little. They won't sleep with us in the middle of the night. So I'm going to go sleep on the couch. So I go sleep on the couch, and so I'm laying there on my side, and the father gives me uh, some of you. If you know what I'm talking about, sometimes you can open up your ears, your inner ears. Perry Stone talks about your inner ears, your spiritual ears will open up. And that will happen to me. I can hear the other side of the room. And it's like a, it's a it's swirling noise. And every time that opens up, I'm like, oh great, here we go. But I'm listening, and all of a sudden I'm laying on the couch. And if you're laying on the couch, all of a sudden you know the presence is there. All of a sudden you can feel something coming up to you. And I was like, and I'm not going to open my eyes. I'm going to wait and see what happens here. And I felt this, oh, oh, yeah. right up to my face, just breathing. Just, yeah. oh, oh. And I was like, I was like, what do you got? And the demon started saying, Jesus smells. Jesus smells. Jesus smells. And I rebuke you in Yeshua's name. Get out of my house. Amen. 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 Got out. Another incredible thing that happened yesterday, I'm an advocate for a church, Jesus of Nazareth. Some of you guys might know Pastor Steve uh, Muncy out of Indiana, and he does uh, the Jesus of Nazareth shows, and I'm an actor, I'm a Roman soldier. And same scenario, we're praying, and uh, Passover, every year at Passover, Good Friday, we do that show on Friday, we usually do them on Saturdays. Well, last year we had, we didn't, we didn't uh, did a real good prayer. Those demons were tearing that house apart. Everything was not functioning. People were stumbling through their lines, missing parts, lights weren't working, everything was just going haywire. And I had to get everybody together. We need to pray again, all the Roman soldiers. Let's get together. We gotta do this again. And we prayed and everything went perfect again. Boy, well, same thing happened last night. I got everybody together and we'll get down on our knees, all all of us. Get down on our knees, take a knee. And we'll and we'll pray. I say, you remember what happened last year? Let's do it again. And a friend of mine, I was just talking to him. He was dealing with a spirit of uh, anger and hatred. He got into a fight with somebody last week. And he said, um, I was rebuking that spirit again. And as, as we were sitting there, he felt the weight on his left side. The weight was on him. As soon as, as soon as I started rebuking that demon, that weight came off of him. So that's going to show you guys just um, they are real. So if you had dreams and visions, send them to me. And what I do, it's really cool now, is I actually recreate the dreams and visions. So people, some people send me dreams, I will recreate it. Animations and stuff like that. 
videos, music. I make it really interesting to watch, you know, and uh, not for all of them, but for most of them I will now. So the Father's really created me with a lot of, uh, I mean, really blessed me with a lot of that creativity. And uh, it's been a help to a lot of people, a lot of people that have come to Jesus because of, you know, I've preached after, I used that dream and vision as my foot in the door. And then, okay, now I can preach about what I just saw. All right, so that's what I do. Are you serious? I'm serious. I'm serious. Are you serious? I'm serious. serious. Are you serious? Are you serious? What? I love him. What? Where's what? It's what? It's going to be the most going on. It's going to be intense. You couldn't get any more serious than today. Amen. God moved. That last house, they need to go clean up with oil all over the place. Oh, praise God. Amen. Amen. You call me out upon the waters, the grave.